Mennessä puoli jälkeen tuli semmonen 10 minuutin tosi synkkä jakso, jolla Everton pääsi melkein 20, yli 20 pinnan johtoon, mutta onneksi saatiin vielä neljän neljä jakson tästä täst peli aikaiseksi, mutta se on aina vaikea tulla takaa ohja ja voittaa vielä peli. Kyllä siihen, et siihen tänäänkin säästeltiin, että sunnuntaina olisi sitten tota vireessä, että saa nähdä miten polvi reagoi, että huomenna mennään vähän juokseen ja hyppiä ja katsotaan miten reagoi. Kyllä tota, hyvin paljon tulee seurattua, että tulee pelejäkin netistä katsottua. Et 
Et niillä on nyt tiukat paikat, mutta omissa käsissä sinä ei vielä hommaa. Et kyllä mä uskon, että Kata ja yhden peli häviää ja Lahti hoitaa kummatkin menee vielä playereihin. No niin, terveiset kotiin sinne. Niin et, te, tähän tuutte jo parin viikon päästä täällä käymäänkin. Ja sit mä tuun jo kuukauden päästä kotiin. Ja Lahteen paljon terveisiä kaikille kavereille ja tutuille ja Lahtipaneille. Niin kannustakaa loppuun asti, kyllä ne miehet hoitaa asiat kentällä. Yeah, yeah, we kind of had a little rust on us. We had a couple, maybe a week off, a week and a half off. We had to shake the rust off. We started off slow in the first half, but we got to go in the second half. Yeah, we, we played them tough last week. Uh, they beat us in overtime. We just got to take care of the little things. Maybe we can get us a win when we see them again we play them again. We got to keep working. Just got to keep working. Keep working. Continue playing together and continue learning each other. We'll be okay. Yeah, we just uh, we didn't really come to play, and um, to be honest with you, it was a pretty pretty low key performance. And to be honest with you, it's you know we play like that against some of the better teams. We have little chance of uh, progressing in this championship. Well, uh, you know um, we need Kevin Bell back. We need the, uh, the energy that he brings us. We're hoping that he's going to get the all clear on Monday. He's been practicing with us now for the last two weeks. Um, and he brings a vibrancy to our team and speed and quickness that we're missing at this moment. But we're just, we're just very, very bitty at the moment. We play really well for five, seven minutes, and then we just slack it off and not play hard. We've got to play better for that. Yeah, I mean, we have our toughest weekend of the year. We have um, Sheffield Sharks on the Friday, um, where we have to go to, and then we have to play Newcastle here on the Monday. Um, the facts are, you know, out of any of the teams other than Newcastle and Sheffield, we're the team that have played those two teams better than anyone. They know that, we know that, um, but we've got to win on Friday. It's absolutely that. Yeah, well, second half, we did well. Um, it's a long travel, just like Newcastle last weekend. But um, Everton's a very good team. You know, they're very well coached. They, they execute very well. So, you know, let's stay in there and get down. We got down by 24 at one point, came back, cut it down to five points. So this is a good game to push towards um, setting up for Worcester on Sunday. So we should be fine. Try to secure, make sure we try to secure the eighth spot. We're looking, we're looking to sweep them and, you know, move on and secure that eighth spot, maybe that seventh spot if we can get it from Milton Keynes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hope his leg, his little knee thing is, uh, hope she gets better and ice that and takes care of that. But he's a big, he's a big help. That's 17 points we're missing there and him getting to the line, putting key players in foul trouble. So hope he'll be back on Sunday. Yes, yeah. I, I, there was a terrible crash on the motor on the M62. So unfortunately I sat there for two hours. Um, but hey, you know, it was only a two point game at half time. So, you know, we were doing all right. I mean, you, you have to understand that, you know, that we're not, this isn't an even playing field, you know, the, the, um, the structure and the resources that this club has compared to what we have. This is like Manchester United playing, I know, a bottom of the league team, you know. So I, I'm not too concerned about that. What I was more concerned about was the transition buckets that we gave up. We gave up two in the third quarter, really pretty easy layups, you know, that uh, I think we should have done a better job on. Uh, I mean, they, uh, they're in a, the strongest position, I think, of all of the teams to, to make the playoffs, to make the eighth spot, because they've got games in hand. We've had two great games against them. We've beaten them both times, but in once in overtime and once really close. So uh, I think it was two or three point games. So it's going to be a really, really uh, big game for us, I think. I, I hope he will be back Sunday because we... We just really miss his defensive intensity, and uh, uh, you know, and I think he he does some of the invisible things that you really like in a player. So uh, we're not sure he's got ligament damage, and uh, he's had an MRI, and the signs are good. But whether he's going to be able to get back in time for Sunday or not, I don't know.